Greetings, everybody. It's Jeffrey Guterman in the Stratomatic, uh, for the Stratomatic Sports Network. And we've got a ball game here with a 545 start. It's the California Angels at the Seattle Pilots. Turns out I worried myself for nothing all day. I just clarified. But in any case, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smoke some cannabis and I'm going to play this ball game. This is the fifth of a five-game series. Uh, they, were, they had back-to-back doubleheaders. On the 12th, the doubleheader, Seattle swept. And then on the 13th, <laughs> another doubleheader, the Angels swept. And then uh, now today... Uh, and uh, well, I'll t- uh, just let's put it this way: the Seattle bullpen needs a uh, good outing by Steve Barber today. No doubt about it. He's a left-hander. He'll be going for Seattle. He's won three, but they're going to be facing Andy Messersmith, the probably the ace of this uh, this staff. A right-hander. He has won fifteen. Uh, and I'm going to go through the lineups with you right now. For the California Angels, it will be Sandy Alomar leading off and playing second base. Batting second is Jim Spencer. He will be at first. Batting third, Jim Fregosi at shortstop. Rick Reichardt, the cleanup hitter, batting, uh, playing left field. Billy Cowan will be batting fifth in center. Batting sixth, I believe it's Jim Tatum. Making his first appearance, Jarvis, I'm sorry, Jarvis Tatum, and we're using a, an electronic card for him, Jarvis Tatum, he is batting sixth and playing right field. And by the way, Jarvis died in 2003. He only played three years in Major League Baseball. And Kathy Harden has arrived. Awesome. Great to see you, Kathy. Andrew, she's for Andrew and the Angels. And I really don't have much on him. Uh, His Major League debut, again, was 1968, so he's playing in this game. Uh, Batting seventh at third base, Arolio Rodriguez. Joe Askew is the catcher. He will bat eighth. And Andrew Messersmith, he's won 15 games. Um, He'll be pitching and batting ninth. Yeah, and I'm smoking some some grass, Kathy. The thing I was worried about is not to worry about. the Seattle Pilots, leading off Tommy Harper at third base. John Donaldson bats second, plays second. Wayne Comer is in right, he'll bat third. Steve Hovley is the cleanup hitter. And he's in center. Danny Walton in left, batting fifth. Batting sixth, Don Mincher at first. 
Catching is Jerry McNerney and batting seventh. Fred Stanley is the shortstop. He bats eighth. And the pitcher, Steve Barber, batting ninth. Locker and Womack are available. O'Donoghue is not. He's pitched two days in a row. I could look for some others. But we'll cross that bridge if and when we come to it. I think Mike Marshall might be an option. And this is, again, only if needed. Angels. And here we have, uh, we have a warm-up from Kathy Harden. A crappy question night. No problem. I don't believe in, in the, any of your questions are crappy. I just don't, I don't think like that. But let's have it. It's a warm-up. From Kathy Harden here to start things off. problem. We'll wait till the top of the second. And don't worry about us, Kathy. Anything you do is great. And the Seattle Pilots take the field. There's Steve Barber on the mound. Taking his warm-ups. We are in six stadium. And leading it off for the Angels is Sandy Alomar. Alomar steps in. He's ready. Uh, Barber is ready. Here's the windup and the pitch to Alomar. That is 3-7. Left-handed. Grounds it to short for Stanley. And he throws it to first. One away and we are underway here. Now Jim Spencer is up. He takes a cold strike on the outside corner. Okay, Barber now. And the pitch to Spencer. That is 4-8 left-handed. He struck him out. And that's two away. I had this game scheduled for 2.30, but I just wasn't up to it, folks. I hope you all understand, so I moved it to 5.30. I figured uh, I'd probably be better, and I, I was right. Uh, Okay, Fregosi, left-handed hitter, facing Barber. It's lefty-lefty. Barber winds and deals. That is three six left-handed. Lines it to first, caught by Mincher. And the side is retired. One, two, three for Barber, looking very good. And he could do a lot of help here today. They had... It was a double header. So six, they used eight pitchers. That includes the two starters. Uh, California swept the uh, 
pilots in yesterday's doubleheader of the 13th, but on the 12th, Seattle swept California. They had back-to-back -back doubleheaders, and that is just absolutely grueling on, on these ball clubs, I would say. Andy Messersmith on the mound. And leading it off is Tommy Harper now. Messer Smith, a right hander. He's ready. Here's the wind up and the pitch to Harper. It's a 4 11 right handed fly ball left X. Oh, we have a callback. We have a callback. We will do this play right here, though. We have a 411 right handed fly ball left X. I'll check on that, uh, Kevin. We have instant replay, and I thank you. Uh, 411 fly ball left X. That's going to be right card 4 6. Uh, that's the beauty of instant replay. That's 4 6. 24 F3, E6, 6, 11, 14. Oh, it's a two base error. It's going to be an F3, E2. My goodness. A two base error by Reichardt. And Harper opens up at second. Isn't that a shame? But let's go back. And take a look at what we got here. He's saying that he thinks I read uh, Fregosi's at bat. Shit. We're early on. Let's check. Hold on. I'm getting it, folks. And he'll get a go he'll get a red one if he's right about that. That's the beauty of Stratomatic. Now errors are built in, folks. Can, in in my mind, they're built into the replay. I hope you all understand that. So it's you know we do have we do I do make mistakes. And uh, but here is where we can, uh, and I, I like it when people point it out. As long as you're not a dick about it. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't sit looking for my mistakes all the time and that's all you do. But yeah, if you find one when I do it, <coughs> let's see on this. This would be Spencer. Barber wines and deals. That is three left-handed lines into first caught by Minsher. And he's exactly right. Uh, so you get a red one, and we're, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to correct it. We're going to go to Fregosi, and we're going to look on a 3-6 against the left-hander. This would be a 3-6 against the left-hander barber. And in this case, with a 7 on the, on the uh, 20 die, a 7. It, it is a 3-6 for... Fregosi, and on a 3-6, it's going to be double 1-7 to seven against the left-hander, and that will be with a 7 on the red die. So that's going to be a double, and this inning is not over, and that's the beauty. When you catch a, an error, a problem like this, you can get to it early. And what we have done is we've knocked that out. We've gone back in time. And we have been fortunate enough to be able to now come to real world. And let's just wait for this to dry before we put the double by Fregosi on a 3-6. And it's going to be Reichardt coming up. We will remember. We'll put it back. We'll put that in there uh, when that happens. And uh, we are just about ready to continue uh, live baseball here. Um, 
There it is. And here's right card now. That's all. Better early finding out than later in the game, John. You are so right, aren't you? Aren't you so right, John? And we want to thank uh, our friend Kevin Hayes for pointing this out. Here's Barber now with Fregosi on second and two outs. The pitch to right cards. And it really doesn't matter. You could just go. And there it is. It's a grounder to short for Stanley. And the side is retired. So that's beautiful. Uh, that was on, on Reichardt's card, 310 left-handed. And he grounded it to short. Uh, no runs. There was one hit. And let's see if we can get that in there now. There it is. It's the double by Fregosi. We'll, 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 uh, uh, we'll get that better later. Yeah, better, better. They say my mother always said better late than never, but uh, it's also better earlier. <laughs> it's even better earlier. And here we go with Andrew back into the time warp. And I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying the start of this. Here's Tommy. Here's uh, John Donaldson now. Harper reached second on the error by Reichardt. Um, and he steps in now, Donaldson. Here's uh, Andrew from the stretch. And the pitch to Donaldson. And that is 5'8 left-handed, and he flies it to center. And under that is Cowan. He makes the catch, and the side is out. I think the prankster is hurt. Um, Jay Johnstone. That's why you don't see him in the lineup. That's one away, yeah. Problem is, if you get on too late, things like this, Cowan, uh, you know, I mean, it, the whole thing would be so that you, you couldn't possibly go back in order. You're out of order. You follow what I'm saying? I'm sure you can. God damn that. So, <laughs> one out, Harper on second. Here's Comer now. And that's a strike called on Comer. All right, Andrew gets the sign from Asq from the stretch and the pitch to Comer. That's going to be four seven right-handed, and he walked him. So Andrew puts uh, two get on here in the first, and it's first and second with one out for Steve Hovley, left-handed hitter. Okay, Andrew now, trying to get out of this. The pitch to Hubley. That is a 1-10 right-handed. That is a base hit to left. It's not Klutzich, Ayesha, and Harper. Rounding third. It would be unearned. Again, 1-10 right-handed. Left field. Oh, look at that. Right card, a plus one. Uh, Harper, 1-17, to 1-18, to coming home. With one out, they will let him score and keep the runners at first and second. Otherwise, they could get a um, sacrifice fly. Uh, so we cut that down. Uh, from the California perspective, it's a uh, run scoring single by Hovley. It's unearned. So Andrew allows an unearned run here. Kathy Harden for Andrew and the Angels, or as she, she wrote, Andy. 
<laughs> and here's Danny Walton, first and second, still only one out. Okay, Andrew. Andrew. And the pitch to Walton. That is a 4-4 right-handed. Catcher X. This might move something. It is a 4-4 right-handed. Askew a 3-2. And we have a question after this inning, folks. Askew a 3-2. That's going to be a 1-3. Uh-oh. It's wild. Oh, shit. That, that shit is wild. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Again, as Q, now he's at two. It's going to be some wild shit here with first and second one out. Um... It is a wild pitch uncorked by Andrew. Uh, he can't find the ball. And, and, and all runners advance two bases. Holy cow, Comer comes home. Oh, boy. That was, uh, let's read that. Lord. Another run comes home. Andrew having problems here uh, in the first. Look at this now, folks. Let's look at it on the E rating. It is a uh, ASQ E2. That should be good. It's a, a four, five, six, seven. That's fine. But he also got a one on his uh, range rating. And that's going to be on court by Andrew, though. That's going to go to Andrew. It's a three. It's a one, three on the catcher and it's a WS and we read it as right here. Oh, it's not a rare play. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. It is a, uh, a wild pitch, advance one base. Oh, I am so sorry. I was looking on rare play. No, it is a wild pitch and play resumes. It is one base. So Comer goes to third. And Hubley goes to second. There is no second run here. And uh, folks, I, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. The, uh, I, that was an error that I, I found. Okay. They row one base. But Andrew's still in trouble here, second and third with one out, and that's gonna be a wild pitch by Andrew. Okay, Walton's still at the plate. Now the count is two and two on Walton with Hovley on second and Comer on third. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Just advance one. And here's Andrew now. Pitch to Walton. That's a one four right handed. Grounds it to second, no one being held. The infield is not in. They hold the runners. And that's two away. And that's going to break up Don Mincher in a clutch situation. Left-handed hitter. Hovley on second, again, Comer on third, one in already. From the base hit by Hovley. Here's the pitch to Mincher now, and Frank has arrived. Greetings to Frank, 5-6 left-handed, fly ball center field. It's for Cowan, he's under it, he makes the catch. 
And the side is retired, so another awkward inning. This is uh, on, on all counts, but it is one run on one hit, a walk, a two-base error by Rick Reichardt. And two are left on. Andrew was lucky to get out of that, uh, or skillful. We've gone one, it's one nothing Seattle. And uh, we're gonna get our first question from Kathy Harden here for the day. According to the fan graphs, the two best fielding pitchers of all time were teammates in the 90s. Can you name them? Holy shit. The two best fielders, Maddox and Glavin. Oh, fielding pitchers. <clears throat> Maddox and Glavin, boy, they had great pitching, didn't they? And I think they gotta be right. We got a double on Maddox. Glavin. Gotta be right. And oh Lord shit, I remember those days. Woo, great question. Well, we're heading to the top of the second here. We are at six stadium in Seattle. I think it's a Lowe's now. Yeah, you got it, Frank. Top of the second here, Barber. Been a rough inning here, uh, but we're, we're, we're doing fine. Here's Billy Cowan now. One nothing. This is the rubber game of the series. Okay, Barber is ready. Here's the pitch to Cowan. That's six six right handed, and it's a base hit for Cowan. Right up the middle. Actually it's <laughs> it's to right field. That's my reading. What do we call that? Opposite field? Base hit? It's a 6-6 six, six right-handed, you see, and it, it goes past first is my, my take. And that's a right-handed hitter. Um, here comes... Jarvis Tatum. Jarvis Tatum. Provided from the Stratomatic app, card app. <coughs> okay, Barber now from the stretch with Cowan on first, no outs. The pitch to Tatum. That's, ooh, that's going to be a 3 6 against a left handed, and it's a base hit by Tatum. Oh my. Cowan round second goes to third, the youngster Tatum. Now, his first year was 68. He played this year about 12 at-bats. He had about 181 at-bats in 70, and then that was it for him. And he died in 03, of what I don't know. But against Barber, the left-hander, on a 3-6 left-handed single two asteroids. And so... Jarvis Tatum is on first, Cowan is on third, 
and it's going to be a Rolio Rodriguez. He hit 318. Yeah, 22 at bats, Daniel. He only had 22. Shit. He's not going to get much more than that in this replay. That's what he's going to get. He hit 318. Good for him. Mm. As long as you don't overuse them. Uh, here's Barber now. He's in trouble. It's one nothing Seattle. It's a big rubber game. Barber from the stretch, infield back. Pitch to Arroyo, 4-7 right-handed, and he walked him. So Barber has loaded the bases with Angels. 4.80 ERA. So the base is full, and Joe Askew is the batter. Yeah, yeah, Daniel. 308 against righties, 333 against lefties. Wow. It was, the sample size was low, but he did well in the chances he had. Indeed, Daniel. It's bases full. Nobody out. Infield remains back. Here's Askew now. The pitch from Barber. That's 1-8, left-handed, and that is lined to second caught by Donaldson. Oh, what a pretty play. Oh, and that saved a run and a lot of heartache uh, because now it is a uh, ground ball situation opportunity with Andrew coming up. Oh, my, uh, look at that. 1-8, left-handed, single 1-12. to 12. He lines it to Donaldson. I'm sorry I got so loud. Uh, it's just quite a game. We had a, a very, very interesting first inning, and now we have we had a great question from uh, Kathy, and uh, she's motivating me to come up with a question or two this evening. It's bases full, one down. Here's Andrew now. This has the makings of a very, very interesting ball game. Andrew is a two WR now. Okay, Barber, full windup here on the pitch to Andrew. Got to be a strikeout. Six, seven, right-handed. Oh, my, it's not. It's going to be a base hit by Andrew. Oh, my, two runs will score. Cowan comes home. Jarvis Tatum comes home. Rodriguez goes to third, and it's a two-run single by Andrew Messersmith. Let's look at that again by Andrew, Kathy. Oh, we got one top of the fourth. Lord, that's cool. I'm motivated to come up with something really, really good. It was a 6-7. <clears throat> and the um, Rigney is coming out to talk with Barbara right now. I think they'll keep him in on a 6-7 base hit with two asteroids scoring two runs for Andrew, who is a right-hander. And okay, they're gonna keep him in. Here's Alomar, there is action in the Seattle bullpen pen. And unfortunately, we, we don't have a lot of people to use. We're gonna have to, I, I'm gonna see who, what other card app stuff I have here. It's one out, infield is back on a first and third. And here's Barber trying to get out of this. Pitch to Alomar. That is 212 left handed, and he pops it up to second. And Donaldson is under it. That's two outs. If I said it was two, it was one out. So it's two outs now. <clears throat> and that's going to bring up Spencer. This is lefty lefty. Oh, Daniel Evanson, are you uh, the replay journal man, Daniel? Daniel, are you the replay journal man on YouTube?
That's the question I have. It looks like you. And I think I saw you on X also. All right, here's Spencer now. With two outs, uh, first and third ball game, because I'd like to, if it is you, you know, uh, you have incredible videos. Here's the pitch from Spencer. That is two seven, left-handed, he pops it up again. This is to Donaldson, and he makes the catch, and it's a, the inning is retired, but two runs for the Angels. Spencer gets out of it, if you will. Um, and in the middle of the second, it is 2-1 Angels now. And here comes Andrew. Oh, look, whoa. Frank has a question top of the third. Isn't that beautiful? You got me getting me motivated. Let me, what could I think of as a good question? I like to think of them off the top of my head. It's 2-1 now, and here comes Andrew, who had his own thing to deal with in the first. It's going to be McNertney leading it off. Maybe Daniel left. Maybe there's a delay. <clears throat> okay, Andrew is ready. Here's the wind-up. The pitch to McNertney. That is 6-8. Right-handed fly ball right for Jarvis Tatum, who makes the catch, one away. Tatum is retired. We've got a question right after this from Fred. And speaking of, oh, Frank, Frank, what am I saying? <laughs> it's Fred Stanley coming up. And I was going to say, look, we got a Fred at the plate and Frank, but it's Frank. One out, nobody on. Stanley at the plate. Here's the pitch. 5-8 right-handed. Fly ball center field for Cowan. He makes the catch two away. And here's Barber. He will hit. See if he settles down. Two outs, nobody on here. Bottom of the second, it's 2-1 Angels over Seattle. Here's the pitch to Barber now. That's 6-4, left-handed, grounds to short X. That's gonna be for Fergosi at 2-22. G1, E22, 6, uh, let's go 10, 16, 5, 10, 16, E22. <clears throat> and he throws him out. <laughs> and it's a 1, 2, 3 inning there for Andrew. So Andrew looks like he has begun to settle down nicely. We've gone two, it's a two to one ball game now. Folks, wait for it now. Wait for the beautiful introduction here for Big Frank, Big Man Frank coming up with a big one. Here we go. Waiting for Frank's question in a two to one ball game, Angels over Seattle, Kathy Harden, and there's Jarvis Tatum already singled and scored. He scored the go ahead run. Here it is now from Frank. What player has the most career 400 plus total base seasons? Holy cow. Oh, 
Holy cow, that's a tough question. What player has the most career 400 plus total base seasons? I'm gonna say, uh, I know it's a, a silly guess, but. Probably Ruth, but you know, that, that's a tough question. I, you know, I should know that. <laughs> I'm going to keep guessing if no one else is going for it. <coughs> oh, I think I might take another hit here. Not Ruth. Lord. Um. um. What's his name? Um. Oh, I'm going to go with... Uh, You know, you got to admit, though, these aren't bad guesses, are they, uh, Frank? Um, what's his name again? Oh, yeah. I think his name is Thomas. He was on, wasn't he on the White Sox? Or, I forgot his first name. Frank Thomas or something like that. Oh. Huh. I said Ruth. Okay, don't tell me it's it's. Uh... Oh, that's you, Daniel. Oh, Daniel, I want to tell you something. I really love your channel, and what I find to be particularly great about it is how you will have videos where you are talking about sports gaming, usually baseball, um, but I think maybe other, uh, not only playing, but talking about it, raising questions, sharing research, and I think it's just utterly uh, fantastic. Better than Ruth? Who the hell was better than Ruth? Okay, it's got to be Mantle. I'm going to question if he was the greatest Yankee. If it's not Mantle, it's DiMaggio. But I just want to tell you that, Daniel, your stuff is so good. And I encourage all of you to uh, subscribe to Daniel Evanson's. So I guess you have two. Uh, well, Frank, uh, yeah. You might have to uh, Jarvis Tatum one of these days. You mean thanks? You mean uh, uh, talk about him? <laughs> Don't worry. You see, uh, Daniel, what I want to let you know is if it's not Mantel, it's DiMaggio, which I'm surprised it would be um, that number. Who could be better than all of them? Ruth uh, and Mantel. Wait, no, I'm not ready for the answer. I wrote DiMaggio. Uh, and if it's not DiMaggio, I give up. It's got to be a trick question. Uh, that's funny, Daniel. Oh, Garrick. Okay. Okay. I should. I don't know why I didn't think of Garrick there, but that's incredible stuff you have there, Daniel. Really. So I guess you have uh, you have a few accounts. Okay. Yeah, folks. I, I go for replay baseball replay journal. And in fact, I would hope it's on my list, on my landing page, among Well, it wasn't, but let me And it's a great name because it, it is like a journal, folks. He and he seems to do it every day. Uh here it is. Let me uh let me just add this. Folks, this is Baseball Replay Journal, and he's got a whole setup here. He's got a, a microphone and everything. Uh, I'm going to put it up here on the uh, editing my channel and go.
go down to my feature channels, edit the contents, and then go for this, uh, uh, here it is. Here he is. Let's add him and publish that. And now you can all do that. You can even, if you have any trouble, just go down to the bottom of my landing page and go to here and you see replay journal right here. And there it is. Yeah, no problem. And it's very good because he talks about gaming, the history of it, the culture of it. Uh, you know, he also has actual play. And uh, I watch them. I find them very interesting. Uh, so we have Frank really uh, 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 sort of, you know, you, you, ca you caught me off there, Frank, uh, when you said that Luke, uh, he was the best Yankee ever because that's debatable, okay? Uh, but I'm not sure he is the best Yankee ever. Uh, but anyway, um, but I understand the sentiment that you set forth. And I didn't know he has the most 400 plus total bases per year. Uh, f uh, per year uh, in history of baseball. Uh, I don't know what mistakes you're talking about, sir. Uh, it's interesting when you'll bring up things about, say, APA history, and you'll point out, I'm not certain of this, okay? That's very, very, that's integrity. That We need that. We need people to say uh, good guesses. Yeah, yeah, well, I went right down the line. Uh, great question, and we have another one coming up top of the fourth. Here's Andrew. Uh, here's uh, Barber now in his third inning. He allowed two runs in the second. Let's see if he's able to settle down now. Fergosi will lead it off. Here's Barber now. And the pitch to Fergosi. That is 6-8, right-handed, grounds it to second X. And whoops, what am I doing here? <laughs> uh, we don't need the organ right now. We're a low budget program here. We don't have a, a fancy microphone like you do, uh, Daniel, or anything like that. Um, it was a 6-8 right-handed, grounded a second. That's gonna be uh, to Donaldson a 424. That's going to go through for a base hit, S1. Four, five, six, seven. He's at an E24, seven. And he, that's going to be a leadoff single by Fregosi. So Fregosi is on, and he doubled in the first, as some of you may remember that one. Um, Fregosi on first to lead it off. Here's Reichart. All right. Barber, from the stretch, we're going to pull a, um, a little bit of uh, slow ball here. Infield is in, he's a C bunter. Here's the pitch to Barber. Reichardt does lay it down. He hits it right in front of the plate. Coming for it is McNurtney. That's a 10 C. And he pops it up. And McNurtney makes the catch. Fergosi, of course, holds. So it's an unsuccessful sacrifice attempt. And here's Billy Cowan. Cowan singled and scored last inning.
That's one eight left-handed. Grounds it to short, this could be two. Stanley to Donaldson at second, to Mincher at first, and it is a double play. So the side is retired. On a 1-8 left-handed ground out shortstop, double play. And we are in the middle of the third, and it's a two to one ball game. Kathy's question coming up after this inning. Here's Andrew now. Retired the side in order in the second. And here's Harper now. Harper reached on the two base error by Reichardt and he scored on Hubley's base hit in the first. Andrew gets the sign and the pitch to Harper. That's 5-10 right-handed. That's a ballpark slash. On the, with the right-hander um, Harper in, in Seattle. And that is a liner to short court by Fregosi. One down. Uh, yes, I have uh, two people hit for the cycle. Willie Mays, and that was back in April or May. You take care. Take care, Dan. And thanks for coming by. Whoops, I'm sorry, Dan. Take care, Dan. And thanks for coming by. Uh, Willie Mays, I think it was May, early May or something. And then I had one more, I think it was Tolan. I'm gonna just double check for you, sir. And yes, it was. That was on September 7 in our 1969 replay. I don't have the exact date for Mays, but uh, in fact, that was before I was broadcasting. I started broadcasting these folks late July in the schedule, and I've been doing every game since we're September 14 now in our 1969 replay. It's one out, nobody on. Here's John Donaldson. Okay, Messer Smith, the wind up and the pitch to Donaldson. That's one five right handed. Fly ball left field. A can of corn for Reichards. He's under it and he makes the catch. Two away. I'm having a little problem here with the score sheet getting totally visible. Okay, there we go. Two outs now, and it's Wayne Comer, the batter. This goddamn thing. There. What the hell? Whatever. I can make it higher. Just not. This 
shit is really off today. I'll keep it like that just to we can <coughs> God. It's off. Oh thanks, Frank. I oh, appreciate it, Frank. I would like that. Okay, we have two outs here, bottom of the third. Oh, it looks great, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In fact, let me look at it on the big screen. YouTube, Jeffrey Gutterman, California. just trying to get the whole thing in aligned but let me take a peek here on the big screen here with two outs Looks good to me, yeah. Sure. Okay, here's Comer now. With two outs, nobody on. Andrew, the pitch. That is 5-12 right-handed. Grounds it back to Andrew. He is a 328. He gets to it, <laughs> E28, 6, 11, 12. Oh, and he boots it. Oh, it's booted by Andrew. So a two outs and Comer is on. That's the second error for the Angels today. Comer on, he's a B. Not being held, <clears throat> one to t uh, 13. And here's Hubley. Pitch from Andy, 5'8", left-handed, fly ball center. And under that is Cowan, he makes the catch and the side is retired. No runs, we had a little technical snafu, one, one uh, error and a base runner left on. We've gone three, it's 2-1 Angels here on the Stratomatic Sports Network for our 1969 replay. Here's Kathy's question. Often called history's greatest military evacuation from which French port did 200,000 British troops flee on June 4, 1940? So this is World War II. This is an amazing question. I do not know. I'm ashamed to say. It's often called history's greatest military evacuation from which French port did 200,000 British troops flee on June 14? Well, it's a, it's a very important question in, in history, you know, the World, World War II, so, you know, brought on the New World Order. It was a movie a couple of years ago. 
unfortunately, I don't pay much attention to the new movies either that come out. Nice. Nice. Dunkirk. Okay. I thought maybe you meant Nice. You know, Nice, France. Dunkirk, of course. I mean, now that you say it, it makes sense. Great question. to the top of the third everybody and here's Steve Barber hanging in there he allowed the two runs in the second that has given the Angels a 2-1 lead here I don't know why I'm having such problems with the what I, what I consider the a little better. That's a little better. Great question. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. You get this or you get this. Whatever you prefer. Kathy Orton. Whatever you prefer, Barber will face Jarvis Tatum. <coughs> Jarvis, left-handed hitter. Here's Barber now. Again, Jarvis singled and scored the, the go-ahead run in the second for California. Here's the pitch from Barber. And that is 6-5. Uh, he's a right-handed hitter, I'm sorry. And he struck him out. That is the second strikeout for Barber today. And here comes Aurelio Rodriguez. This is very weird the way this is working out today with the, uh, for some reason, I have to raise it. For some godforsaken, godforsaken reason, it's having a problem with on the uh, iPhone visual showing the whole thing, but uh, so sorry, Ed, it's probably not on my end either. Yeah, that is really, really, I wonder if this is blocking it, no? Uh, 
Okay, that's, uh, that'll have to do. Um, here's Rodriguez now. The pitch from Barber. 5-3 right-handed. Uh, hits it back to Barber X. He's a 334. That's a G1. E34, 6, 10, 14. And he throws him out two away. You know, I'd love to get to the bottom of this one way or another, what the problem is. Oh, we have a question after this inning from Kathy. I really would. If you all can just bear with me a second here. I think this is on YouTube's end. I really do. Why I'm not able to really get the top of that on my YouTube visual. Just give me one second, folks. I want to check something out. This is part of my obsessiveness. it in uh, what's this called um, the the Apple uh, here whoops Christ here it is okay that Oh yeah, you say the video is perfect, yeah. I'm just looking here. Okay, yeah. I'm just looking at it and it, it it's, it's on um, Chrome where it's just the top is not showing. I know the video quality is fine. It's the framing that uh, is not working for me tonight in terms of the, what I'm used to. Here's ASQ two outs. Well, okay, Barber, and the pitch to Askew. That is 6-3 right-handed, and it's a fly to left X. Under it is Walton, a 4-7. This could be trouble. Four seven thirteen four. 13 4 He's going to get to it, F1. Um, Lord, Walton E7, 4, 8, 10, and he makes the catch, and the side is retired. One, two, three for Barber, so Barber has settled down. We're in the middle of the fourth, and it's still a two-to-one ball game, Angels. Here's Messersmith looking for his 16th win today. Okay, Walton will lead it off. He grounded to second in the first. We got a question after this inning. I'm trying to get motivated to figure out what question I might ask. Here's the pitch, 2-8. Two, two Right-handed, it's a chopper to second. Alamar fields it and throws it to Spencer at first for the first out. And here's Don Mincher. All right, Mincher flew to center in the first. Here's Andrew now. That is 3-2. 
right-handed, hit him. So Mincher is on. He hit him. So he's okay. He shakes it off. It was a 3-2 right-handed. Mincher on first with one down. Here's McNartney now. Sort of a slow-paced game where I, I made a couple errors myself in the first inning and this and that, and now with the camera and uh, just sort of taking it easy tonight. Here's the pitch to McNertney. 3-7 right-handed, fly ball center, and under it is Cowan. He makes the catch and it's two down. And here's Fred Stanley now, who flew to center in the second inning. Okay, Messer Smith and the pitch to Stanley. That is 3-7, right-handed, and it's a base hit, a two-out single. Mincher goes to second. Let's see if he'll stretch it. That was hit to left. It's a plus one, Mincher. One to 12, one to 14, one to 15. And they let him go. Keep it first and third, and Barber will come up. He is a 3-W-L. Okay, Andrew trying to get out of this. 4-7, uh, left-handed walked him. He walks and the bases are full now. So Andrew having his troubles today. A 4-7 walk to Barber. And uh, he left-handed hitter. And uh, he, here comes Harper now. Only a 235 hitter, but he was raring to go when he got on. Here's Andrew now. Base is full, two outs, clutch situation, wind up by Andrew and the pitch to Harper. That is 6-5 right-handed, it's a grounder to short. That's gonna be for Fregosi at 222. Fregosi. 2-22, 2-2, it's going through for a base hit on a 2-2, E-22, 6-10-16. Oh, my. And it is a base hit with one asteroid, uh, if you will. Harper with the clutch single, bringing Mincher home, who was hit by, by uh, Andrew. So that's going to tie the ball game. And uh, here comes Donaldson. Base is still full, two outs. Wait for the question from Kathy coming up. Okay, here's Andrew now, and the pitch to Donaldson. Six, seven, left-handed, grounds it to second X. Alomar, 325. Seventeen three, he gets to it. E twenty five, four six eight, and he throws him out, <laughs> and the side is finally retired. But a but a run on two hits, a hit by pitch, a walk. You see what happens. We've gone four. It's a two to two ball game, folks. I hope you're enjoying the ball game, and we got a. I gotta come up with some good ones tonight. I'd like to come up with two. I'm gonna take a break for about two or three minutes here anyway. Here it is, name the pitcher with the best ever winning percentage against the Yankees. 
His record is 17 and five, a 773 winning percentage. I have, you know, that's like a, a Bill Ivory question. Iva me. That is so arcane, Kathy Harden. So arcane, but awesome. Arcane and awesome. Those are some good guesses. Oh, but they were good guesses. Don't give it to us, Kathy, please. Because I got some heavy thinking to do right now. Please don't give it to us. Frank Larry. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Frank Larry. Oh, boy, I haven't thought of him in a long time. From the Tigers? Oh, Bob Casoria. Guessing Frank Larry. Wow. It must be done in the 65-75 hour, you think? Best winning percentage. Oh. These are good guesses. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I was born. You know, the, that continues to boggle my mind every day. And sometimes if I take a hit and I think about it that moment. <sighs> Lolich. Um, 17 and 5. I, I don't know. I could do some crazy guesses, but I just... You think Palmer's a great guess? a tough one, Kathy. Babe Ruth! Holy cow! That's an awesome question, Kathy. I thought that was a joke answer from someone else. God. Lord, that was crazy.
That's a, that's unbelievable. It was probably the best question ever. Yeah, agreed. We're heading to the top of the fifth, and it's Steve Barber, who seems to have settled down. Uh, it's 2-2 two -two now. And uh, here's Andrew to lead it off. Oh, we've been guessing all night. I, I never would have, my mind never would have went to Babe Ruth. I guess he had to be with the Red Sox all those years. I think it was only about, I don't know how many years, maybe five years, six years, seven years, actually. Okay, here's Barber, he's ready. Andrew at the plate, here's the pitch. That is 5-3, right-handed, grounds it back to Barber. Amazing the things you learn. Um, Barber is a 334. That's an all night. 334. That's going to be 7 3. He gets to it on G3. 368. A little slow on the chart here tonight, but he throws him out one away. And here comes Alomar, a little, little off tonight. You know, been an interesting game, challenging to keep me on my toes, but taking it real easy now. Okay, it's Alomar now with one out, nobody on. He's 0 for 2, Sandy. The pitch from Barber. That's gonna be six six switch hitter batting right, and it's a base hit. A single to right by Alomar, switch hitter batting right. It was a six six switch hitter batting right. Single one to nineteen. Alomar is on, he's an A. One to fourteen being held. And here's Spencer now. Infield stays back. He's an A bunter. I only do that when I'm going to bunt. I like to have, keep a little suspense for you, but Spencer lays it down two, three, four, an A, and it's good. It's hit right back to Barber, who is taken away uh, and has to go to first. It's hitting right to first there. A nice sack. Oh, there, were, there was one out already. Wow. Okay, well, I didn't realize that. I, I made a mistake there, but it's going to have to stand. Folks, I've been playing Stratomatic. Oh, that's such a long story. 1970 was the first year. Two outs, well, Alamore in scoring position at least. And here's Fregosi in a clutch situation. The pitch from Barber. That is 2-6 against the left-hander, and he walked him. So it's going to be up to Rick Reichardt in a clutch situation. Two, six left-handed. And here comes right card 0 for 2. And the pitch from Barber. 6-5, right-handed, struck him out. I think that's the second time they hit that. And that will retire the start. Barber is doing nicely now, I think. No runs, one hit, a walk, both left. We are in the middle of the fifth. 
and I have a question right now. A quick one, middle of the fifth question from Jeffrey Guterman. Here it comes. There it is. Who was the first Beatle? to visit the USA. That should be singular, I'm sorry. Who was the first Beatle to visit the USA? And you can go look this up. Oh, Kathy Harden gets it, whoa. slow here tonight. There it is. Kathy gets it. George is correct. Frank came in late. Uh, Folks, it was before they came in February of 64 as a group, and that was the first time for the other three, but George had visited for some reason. I don't know why, I don't remember. I don't really care too much, but I'm sure you could look it up and see. It, it happened, I don't know when either, or either. I, I don't remember when. Uh, here's Andrew now. Andrew. Andrew taking his warm-ups, battling Steve Barber here. And it is bottom of the fifth. In a 2-2 ball game, and it's going to be Comer leading it off. Andrew's first endurance is the eighth. And Barber is, he just pitched it. <laughs> and he allowed two. A single and a walk. He's going to come in the sixth. Uh... on the verge. Oh, was it to visit his sister? Wow, that's cool. It sounds familiar. All right, Comer leading it off, bottom of the fifth. We're tied at two. Here's Andrew now. The pitch to Comer, 1-6 right-handed, walked him. So Andrew having a little issue here, but putting people on. Comer is a B. Not being held, 1-2-13. With as Q, here's Steve Hubley now. And the pitch. Andrew, 5'8", left-handed, fly ball center. Cowan under it, and he'd be making that catch. One down. Now here's Danny Walton, the youngster.
Walton right-handed hitter, Messer Smith, is ready. The wind-up and the pitch to Walton. That is a 5-10 right-handed, and it's a ballpark slash. And it's caught. By Fregosi, it's short. Those should be ground balls, I think. You know that? To test the infield. But I don't understand. Here's Mensher now. It's of no consequence, though. But it could have been. Should be like a C, a ground ball C or something. <coughs> the pitch to Mincher. That's a 1 6 right handed, walked him. So Messer Smith throws his fourth base on balls. The second in this inning. He's also hit a batter. Andrew not quite at his best tonight. First and second, two down. It's a clutch situation here for Jerry McNertney. He's a good clutch hitter. Oh, we got a double from Kathy during the stretch. A double from Kathy during the stretch. One five right-handed struck him out. And that will retire the side. Andrew gets out of that. With his first strikeout of the evening. No runs, no hits, two walks, both left. We've gone five. And it is a two to two ball game. question right now. Top of the sixth. It's funny how those just sneak up on you. I ask you now all to wait for it. Name a person who was awarded a Nobel Peace Prize. Actually, a Nobel Prize. I'm sorry, I fucked it up. Not, not a Nobel Peace Prize, a... Nobel Prize and refused it. If you want for a bonus there, what was the explanation they gave? Let me put that in one more time. I really hate when that happens. I'm not having a great night tonight. There it is. 
Name a person who was awarded, not a peace prize, it was a prize. I'll give you a hint, it was in literature. Uh, and he refused it. Bonus, what was his explanation? Now I'm telling you, it was a man. Anybody at all. If you Google it, uh, it's going to probably come up. And I, I put it that way, name a person, because I don't know, maybe someone else refused one. But I doubt it. No, it wasn't Oppenheimer. I don't think he got one. But he, I could be wrong, Peter. Did he get one, Oppenheimer? Or Oppenheim? Is that someone else? Or are you talking Robert J. Oppenheimer? This was in literature, though. I'm telling you now that the Nobel Prize was in literature. And uh, I'll give just another minute or so to see if anyone even gives a shit. Gives two rats asses. Okay? My question is, what about all the money? Don't you get awarded a lot of money? No takers? are heading to the top of the sixth. It's going to be Steve Barber now. Barber has settled down. Um, I'll tell you, Andrew has let runners on base. Okay, there you go. Ron McGrath, it was October 64. Yeah, he was the first person. Yeah, but what about all that money? Okay, here's Barber. In his second endurance inning, he's got two against him. And Billy Cowan, we're lucky we got five innings out of him thus far. And a 2-2 ball game. Here's Barber now. And the pitch to Cowan. That is 2-7 left-handed, and it's a base hit up the middle for Billy Cowan, his second of the day. Thrown in by Hovley, one, uh, one on here, no outs. And here's uh, Jarvis Tatum. Jarvis Tatum facing Barber. Jarvis, a right-handed hitter, singled, sc uh, scored, and struck out. Here's Barber now from the stretch with Cowan on first, no outs. Oh, you are? Uh, yeah, Ron, yeah. I figured so, Ron. Not that I wouldn't think you can get something like that. 4-4 four, four right-handed, grounds it to short X. On the right-handed. And that will be, of course, Stanley, a, a 425, playing for... Bunch of people, including Euler. 425 shortstop, 425 12. He's going to get to it on a G3. Um, 
Stanley E25. 245 rare play. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what am I doing? 245. Oh, wait a minute. I have a 12-4 on shortstop. That's a G3. Yeah, and a 245, absolutely, on an E25. It is a rare play, absolutely. Let's go take a read it together on the e, the uh, G3 e, uh, rare play. He lines his shot, another one of these. I hate these. Hits the mound, deflects to um, Stanley and makes the play to the first out. Uh, and Cowan goes to second. So Tatum is retired. Pain in the ass. And here's Rodriguez now. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't say that. You know, it depends how we measure intelligence, Ron. You know that? In some, some ways, my intelligence is, is um, stunted. I really believe that. I know there are standardized ways of, of evaluating knowledge in math, sciences, humanities, uh, English, or languages. Um, here's Rodriguez now, and, and that's not even intelligence. Knowing facts to me is not intelligence. It's, uh, it's synthesizing facts and coming up with new ideas. That's to me what's intelligent. Here's Cowan uh, on second with one out. Here's Rodriguez now. At the plate, uh, he was hit by a drunk driver as a pedestrian and was killed. 3-6, left-handed. And that's hit well by... <laughs> by, <laughs> by Rodriguez. He's a good and alive right there, and it's gone. A two-run home run by Arroyo Rodriguez to make it a 4-2 ball game off Barber here, and he is fatigued now. I would be. I sure as heck would be. Look at that. Let's look at that again. 3-6 left-handed, home run 1-12. to It was a 3. It's clean. There's no ballpark. There's no nothing. And uh, he hit that like a freaking dog, a mad dog. Shit. Didn't realize he had that kind of power. He did hit seven, but he had 561 at bats. I guess he's a W against right-handers. He is. That was against a left-hander. Um, and if you don't mind, I'm going to take a moment to put this one in. Makes it a four to two, and that's going to be it for Barber, folks. And my dinner is ready. This is the small portion of Swedish meatballs. Um, um, let's just add that for Rodriguez. Uh, his um, Oh, Christ. Sixth of the year. I said he only had seven. That is his sixth. Let's just enter that. And um, we'll be on our way. Uh, there's going to be a new pitcher now. We can close Barber out with that home run. He pitched five and one-third. It was, you know, what can I say? I said he pitched five innings, but kept him in the game, but look what happened. One, two, three, four. Eight hits. Barber walked one. He struck out three. And he allowed four runs. And look at that. Isn't that a shame? A nice 4-2 ball game. Uh, nice 2-2 two -two ball game. Yeah, those Swedish meatballs, man. You know, I, I go for them. I stay with what works for me. 
and we're going to find out. We're going to get those meatballs out. We're going to mash them and then mix them with the noodles. And um, see who could possibly come in. This, this staff is so tired. It's almost inhumane. So I, I may, I, I think it's going to be inhumane. I'm going to go with uh, the non carded card app people who were brought up. Road Scholar has sent me a shitload of people who were brought up, mostly pitchers. That's that's what I need, actually. Some hitters, yeah, a good, you know, I don't know how many, 30%, 34%. You just mash them up and then mix the noodles, which are on the other side. God. And then just try to take a little bite, eat it slowly. Mm. Now, let's see who might be available. Oh, yeah. He's got a lot of people. And I'm not going to mess around with the other people. I'm going to go with John Morris. John Morris. I'm not going to mess around tonight. Okay. Let me just copy and paste him. I'm just going to freaking pull him. If they only have, like, something like, you know... Two innings pitched or something, I will use him tonight and then I'll delete the email so that I cannot even get access to uh, the ball player. So uh, he is really something. He is a left hander. Uh, let's go take a look at what we can find on him. John Morris. Um, pilots. I don't know if I remember him or not. Um, John Morris is still alive. Uh, for the year in question, which is what I think is important. First of all, he did he did pitch. He pitched started in '66, and his last year was '74. He never had a lot. In 1973, he had 73 innings pitched. He had 67 in '71 on Milwaukee. He moved to Milwaukee with the team, but uh, this year he was two and a. Uh, this year he had no record. 16 innings pitched with a 6.39 ERA. And we're bringing him in. Uh, yeah. Absolutely bringing him in, especially with... Uh, he'll be due up next inning. This turned out to be a very, very freaking tedious ball game. But I'm, I'm just taking it nice and easy here. on the Stratomatic Sports Network. So, Norris, John, oh, Morris, Morris, I am so sorry. Yeah, Morris, yeah. Taking his warm-ups, and we're gonna have him. Facing Joe Askew with, um, one out, nobody on after the home run by Rodriguez. It's 4-2 Angels. Okay, here's Morris now with a 6.9-something ERA. Left-handed pitcher. Here's the pitch to Askew. That's 6-5. 
Uh, he is a, as Q is a uh, right-handed. And whoa, he grounds it to short. Again, as Q right-handed. Uh, X, whoa. Scooped up by Stanley though, 425. My Jesus, the fielding is unbelievable. 425, got my advanced sheets under the TV right now uh, to allow for the meatballs. That's 19.4. It's a G1 he gets to it, Stanley. Um, and he's an E25 10.14. He's dangerous out there. But he, he comes up with it and throws him out. Nice play by Fred Stanley, two outs. I'll tell you, they are not out of this ball game, the uh, pilots. Don't think that. Here's Mr. Smith now. This may be the last, this will be the last batter that Morris faces. Lots of young people warming. Okay, here's John Morris and the pitch to Messerschmitt. That is 2-8, and he struck him out. Morris looks very nice <laughs> in two at-bats, even though he has that 6.9-something ERA. So I'd retire two runs, though, for the Angels on the two-run home run by uh, Aurelio Rodriguez and... We're heading to the bottom of the sixth. It is a 4-2 um, game here. Ah, okay. Here's Andrew now. Andrews to win it. Trying to hold on here. Not exactly Andrews' best night, but uh, a win is a win, as they often say. <sighs> okay, leading it off is Fred Stanley. Look at Fred Stanley. Wow. We may have a hitter for Fred Stanley. You know that? We allow two at least, and I think, oh, 279, okay. We're gonna hit, have Stanley hit. Here's Andrew now. And I can't see that on the card, 279 average, maybe. Here's the pitch, maybe so. Two nine, struck him out. And that's the second strikeout for Andrew tonight. And there's gonna be a hitter for Morris, who pitched two-thirds to get Barber out of that. He reached fatigue. Let's see who's gonna hit here. For the pilots. By the way, I might be able to bring Mike Marshall in. I'm going to have to check. He rarely got, he only had 14 starts. And if that be the case, you know, Sandy Valdez Spino played in this game. He pinch hit. And we're going to have him pinch hit in this game right now against Andrew. He was acquired from the Astros, I think, in the Bowden deal. And Valdez Spino died recently in real world. So it's going to be Sandy Valdez Spino. Very realistic because he pinch hit in this game in real world. It's one out, nobody on. And here's Messersmith now. The pitch to Sandy. That is one five. Whoops. And he singles it to left. Sandy. Nice 
piece of hitting there. Reichardt throws it in. Sandy Valdespino on first here with one out off Andrew. And there's Lower Slower. Lower Slower, board gamer. He's a guy to follow, folks. Uh, subscribe. Welcome to Lower Slower tonight. And I want to tell you, it's a good, it's a good name. And, you know, I am, you know, um, I'm going lower and slower tonight, sir. I've had a, it's been a challenging, I've been enjoying myself, but sorts of mishaps and this and that. Lower, slower, board gamer. Okay. Oh, now we have lower, slower here. Here's Tommy Harper with Valdespino on first. Harper, the tying run at the plate. One out. Here's Andrew now. And the pitch to Harper. 2-9 right-handed struck him out. Oh, Andy reaching back when it matters. His third strikeout. That was a 2-9 right-handed. And here's Donaldson with two outs. And Sandy Valdespino on first. We'll say Donaldson is the tying run, even though he has W power. Okay, here is Donaldson now, coming in. <laughs> Andrew from the stretch and the pitch to Donaldson. We have a double shot coming up. 2-11 right-handed, walked him. So it's first and second. Taking it very much lower and slower tonight here. Uh, Chris, it's first and second, two down here. Again, Messersmith's first endurance is the eighth. It's going to be Wayne Comer now. Messersmith trying to get out of this. He's walked twice and reached on an error, was left on base each time. Messer Smith and the pitch to Comer now. That is for three right handed, grounds it to first X. Spencer 214. He gets to it a G3. E1467. And he takes it to the bag. It's going to be a G3 to the bag. <clears throat> and the side is retired. Comer is retired. No runs. The single by Valdespino, the walk to Donaldson, both left. We've gone six. And it is 4-2, Angels. We're going to see if Mike Marshall. That's cool. That's cool, Lower. It's nice to listen to the game. We're going to take a look to see if Marshall has pitched recently and or if he's going to pitch in the future. Uh, if he's going to start a game. Otherwise, this isn't the Marshall that went to Montreal, is it? He, did, he doesn't pitch on the 15th. This is real world. Um, nor on the 16th, nor on the 17th. So that's all I want to look for. 
and it will be Mike Marshall, the right-hander, coming in. He had 88 innings pitched. I bet you will be seeing some of him later this month, even though we're getting to the later this month. September 14th, Marshall comes in, right-hander taking his warm-ups. Trying to keep Seattle in this, it's 4-2. Angels over Seattle. This is the rubber game, and it's an unusual rubber game because it's a five-game series. There were two doubleheaders in this series, one on the 12th and one on the 13th. I'm not making this up. This was scheduled from rainouts, two of them. Seattle swept the first one, California swept the second one, and now this is the rubber, if you will. We have a double shot coming up on the seventh inning stretch, and here's, it's gonna be Alomar leading it off, 4-2 Angels. Top of the seventh. Marshall is ready now. Here's the pitch to Alomar. 4 6 left handed. Grounds it to first. Mincher has it and takes it to the bag. One away. Now Jim Spencer. In fact, lower, slower gamer. You're right, you know, listening to these YouTube broadcasts of people's games, and I hope mine, is meant to be used any way you want. Of course, you can watch it, but many people opt just to minimize it and or not look at it while they're doing other things. And... Uh, as the old saying goes, stratomatic is what happens while you're busy making other plans or busy doing other stuff. So it's one out top of the seventh here. Yeah, you know. I suppose, ideally, when someone broadcasts a TV game in real world, they're not doing it as if it's only on radio. If it's only on radio, you've got to cover everything. Well, what I, what I might say is your <coughs> announcing paints the entire picture. You might get sounds, I suppose, and the crowd noise. Um, on the other hand, any way you do Stratomatic, the announcing of it, I mean, you do have the dice, but that's not really action. That You have to announce it radio-wise to give a picture of what happens. Here's Marshall now with one out. <laughs> The pitch to Spencer. That's one five right-handed, and it's a base hit up the middle for Jim Spencer. Thrown in by Hubley. That'll bring up Fregosi now, one out. Spencer, a short lead on first. I should say off first. He's two for three today with a walk. Pitch from Marshall. Six, seven right-handed, and he struck him out. Is this the same Mike Marshall that pitched in 30-degree um, weather for Montreal and... <clears throat> intimidated the shit out of people. 
Two out Spencer on first. I really don't remember anymore. Here's Rick Reichardt. Reichardt 0 for 3. He had that big error in the first, the three, the two base error on the ball hit by Harper, and he, uh, Harper eventually scored as an unearned run. That was the first run in this game. It's two outs, Spencer on first. Marshall, 6'10", right-handed, grounds it to third, and Harper takes it, throws it over, and the side is retired. Look at that, 5.13, okay. Uh, I didn't know. No runs because we need pitchers. I don't care if they can walk and throw. Uh, we're going to take them here in this game. After these double headers, it is a 4-2 to two game. Uh, and here's Messersmith in his seventh inning. His first endurance again will be next inning. That's the eighth. It's going to be Huffley, Walton, and Mincher for Seattle. They trail by two. But before that, it is the seventh inning stretch, and we have a double shot here for you from Kathy Harden. Yes, we do, folks. Oh, shit, we do. Oh, shit. It's coming. Oh, shit, here it comes. There it is. Here it is, folks. There are three legendary players who all finished their careers in the same city where they began, but with different teams. One of them is Babe Ruth. The other two played in the 50s and 60s. Lord, gonna do one right away. Wait a minute, same city, yeah. Maze has to be one. Am I allowed to do one at a time? And same cities. Maze is definitely one. Of course, we could we could question what Kathy means by legendary. I bet you there are a lot of players who. Oh yes, yes. And Aaron. I got it. Kathy Harden. Great question. Great freaking question. Great freaking question, God. And that's just the first, folks. Maze, it's not Aaron? Whoa, wait a minute, Aaron started with the Milwaukee Braves and didn't he go to the Brewers at the end? Lower, slower? He ended up in the same city. It's not the same team, but she said city. Uh, let me look him up here. If it's not Aaron, but Kathy says it is, uh, Aaron started in Milwaukee and, and ended in Milwaukee. Yeah. It is slower. Slower, lower. It is Aaron. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I remember he went to the Brewers. That's kind of it was kind of sad, though, wasn't it? We got another one coming from Kathy Harden here, folks. Hang in there. Another great one with Andrew ready to pitch to the pilots. Bottom of the seventh, four-two. are really doing it so lower and slower here tonight, lower and slower. I like the, the name. I'm not sure what it means to you, lower, slower, but uh, I am lower and slower than I ever was in life. Wait for it, everybody. There's going to be a second one because this is a double shot. Here it 
is. Oh. No, that's from Lower Slower. In Delaware, we have three counties. Newcastle is the northern county split by the, the C&D Canal. Anything south of the C&D Canal is officially known as the... Oh! Oh! I understand that. This cartoon dad lived in a sky pad with wife Jane and kids Judy and Elroy. Whoa, I think most of us know that one. So that's where that comes from, lower slower. This cartoon dad. Oh, George. Yeah, I should have said George Judson. Uh, I didn't realize so. We can give that to Peter. Kathy Harden, I, I didn't understand the, uh, I didn't get, uh, follow that. And there it is for you, Peter, George Jetson. His wife, Jane. I used to like, uh, Judy. I thought she was cute. But Rosie was a pain in the ass. And Elroy, well, I could, I, uh, I could take him and leave him. Okay, here's Andrew now, bottom of the seventh. I want to come up with another good one here at the end of this ball game. If anyone sticks around, Peter. Peter gets it. Yes, Peter gets it indeed. Peter gets it indeed. This is. This is an unapologetically lower and slower um, broadcast of a game in my Stratomatic 1969 replay. We're heading to the end. We'll be done in anywhere between four to six months on this pace. <sighs> okay, Hubley will lead it off. Andrew on the mound with the win so far. Well, I just said Jetsons, because I, I misread the question. Uh, 210 right-handed, and that's chopped to first for Spencer. Messersmith's going to have to cover that bag, and he does. Nice play. Nice heads-up play there, and Messersmith took that in nicely for the first out. So Hovley is retired, and <laughs> here's Danny Walton. I got a whopper for you at the end of this game, and I don't even know what it is yet, but I'm going to try to make it a whopper of a, of a question. Never be able to get, get as good as that one that Kathy had on pitcher with the best winning percentage against the Yankees, Babe Ruth, Lord. Here's Andrew now and the pitch to Walton. Five, five right-handed, that's hit well, but at the warning track is Reichardt to make the catch. Two away, a long fly ball hit by the youngster, Danny Walton. It was a five, five right-handed and home run. He's got the power but it didn't quite leave the park. It was right at the warning track. That's gonna be two down now. Andrew, trying to just keep things quiet here. Keep people off base. Here's Mincher though, he's 0 for 1, hit and scored. Hit by a pitch and scored. And walked left on. Mincher, left-handed hitter, he's got power. Andrew, and the pitch. That's 5'10 left-handed, grounds it to second, and Alamore has it, and the side is retired. One, two, three, for Andrew and the Angels. And we've gone seven. And it is a four to two ball game. 
Well, here's Mike Marshall again. Get at least one more inning out of him. And um, technically, it's because it's still relatively close. Locker could pitch two days in a row. We'll just double check that it's not going to, it wouldn't be three. Uh, it's going to be Cowan leading it off. Okay, here's Marshall now. Top of the eighth. Angels batting. Here's the pitch. That is 3-2 right-handed. Hit him again. Oh, not again. Uh, but he hit him. Whoa. <laughs> I was going to throw Marshall out. But no, it's a different pitcher. It's just a whole different... No warning. He goes to first. That, I doubt it was a trade-off. When you're down 4-2, you, you, you don't want to do that. I don't think you ever want to hit somebody. Uh, <laughs> and here comes Jarvis now. Jarvis Tatum with Cowan on first. Nobody out. Here's Jarvis now. He's a right-handed hitter. Marshall from the stretch. 5-7. Jarvis swings. And whoa, it's a base hit by Jarvis. Oh my. <laughs> Another base hit by Jarvis. This one off the pitcher's card. Cowan round second goes to third. Jarvis Tatum, the right-handed hitter, the youngster. He did play parts of 68, 69, and 70, and then he was done. And he is deceased. He died in 03. It is a single on a 5-7 right-handed. So first and third, no outs. Here's Rodriguez, who hit the big two-run home run to put the Angels ahead, where they continue 4-2. Here's the pitch from Marshall. Infield is back, 3-6 right-handed. That's hit well by Rodriguez, deep to center. This might be deep enough for Cowan to tag. It is a 3-6 right-handed. And there's no question on that one, no question mark on that one. Interesting, on a 3-6. So Cowan tags on the fly ball. And that's going to make it a 5-2 to two ball game. Interesting. And here comes Az-Q. One out, Tatum on first. Okay, Marshall from the stretch. The pitch to Askew. That is 2-5 right-handed. It's a base hit to right by Askew. Oh, my. Tatum goes to second. There's no asteroids. That one goes to right. Comer, a minus one. Um, Tatum is a 1-14. to He'd be a 1-13. to He'll hold. First and second one out. Uh, no need to push things there. Here's Messer Smith. It might be a good to go for it, but uh, ah. we'll let him stay. First and second one down, Marshall facing Andrew now. See if he can get out of this. That's 6-6. Six, six. Right-handed, walked him. And that's going to be it for Marshall. They're done with him. They're done with that. <laughs> it was a nice try. He does have a five-point-something ERA. He walked Messersmith. Isn't that something? Quickly, Schultz comes out and pulls him. He pitched one and a third. Allowed three hits. 
He walked one, hit one, struck out one, and has allowed one, but he's responsible, bases full, one out. Let's see who, who in God's name is going to come in here. Who in God's name? It's going to be Gary Timberlake. Gary Timberlake. Isn't that something? Okay, and then we'll, it's only hit for him um, in the bottom of this inning. It's going to be Gary Timberlake. Let me copy him, and let me then also tell you a little about him. Gary Timberlake is a left-handed pitcher. Looks like he's got some control issues. Now we're going to look him up to see all about him. First thing I like to know is, is he... God, that feels hot. You know that? I'm feeling, I think it's, sometimes I feel my iMac and it's so hot in one section. But whatever. Here's Gary Timberlake. He's still alive. He's 75. And he appeared in two games in his entire life. And it was for the Seattle Pilots, and that's all it was. He pitched a total of six innings. He allowed seven hits. He walked nine. And he had an ERA of 7.50. So that's a lot of shit there. And it's a very little bit of shit. I think what we'll do here is we will use him once I don't remember ever using him again. It's not an exact science, but we are going to use him once, maybe twice. Uh, Gary Timberlake is coming in and taking his warm-ups. Yes, he is. And while he does that, uh, it's, by the way, still only one out. Um... Well, I'm going to let him face. I, I'm see if he can close out the inning. He's going to face Alomar here. Let me do that. And then I'll get to do the task I just wanted to do right now. Here's Timberlake, left-handed. Bases full, one out. What a situation to come in, having to the youngster. Here's the pitch to Alomar. His first major league appearance, as far as I'm concerned. I can confirm that. 5'10", I, or I will if you want. He walked him. He just walked in a run. Timberlake. And that's going to that's gonna be charged to Marshall, and that will make it a 6 to 2 ball game. It's still bases loaded. It's, it's almost like putting a minor leaguer in. Let me check out when his major league debut was this could be it and we'll we'll try to be patient with him wikipedia puts the debut oh my it was june 18 lord he pitched june 18 and june 24 but He was picked in the expansion dra uh, draft. All right. Okay, here's Spencer now. Bases loaded, one out. Yeah, you hope it lands on the, the hitter's card, maybe. Timberlake, the wind up and the pitch to Spencer. 
That's going to be 410 left handed. And he struck him out. Oh, interesting. So there's one away. It's a real challenge using someone like this. Here's Jim Fregosi now. Can you imagine him? He lives in Indiana. He worked for a chemical company after he retired. And uh, he's probably retired now, I guess. You wonder uh, if he only knew that we were using him in Stratomatic. I think he'd be appreciative. And I think he'd like to get Fregosi here. Two for three, a double and a single. Walked and struck out. Timberlake. Wind up and the pitch. That's one six, and he grounds it. Uh, he's a left-hander. He struck him out. Oh, Timberlake. Oh, looking pretty good. He walked the first batter. He walked him in a run, but the, for the youngster then to get the next two on strikes, the side has retired two runs. Two hits, two walks, one batter hit, a sacrifice fly, three left on. And we're in the middle of the eighth. It is a six to two ball game. And it's gonna be Andrew coming out for his first endurance inning. Why that is so goddamn hot. Ah, who gives a shit? I've heard of iPhones, new iPhones, they had some. I have a lot of shit open. You know that? It could be that I just have a lot of shit open. Let me, let me just open uh, some minimal shit here. Doesn't seem to be causing any problems though. Okay, Messersmith will face McNurtney, Stanley, and that a hitter for Timberlake. And here's McNurtney leading it off. Okay, Messersmith in for the windup. His, again, his first endurance inning. The pitch to McNurtney. That's 6 5 right handed. Grounds to short X. Fregosi, 222. He gets to it. G1. E22, 10 12. And he throws him out. One down, now Stanley. He 
Here's the pitch from Mr. Smith. 4-4, four, four, right-handed catcher X. As Q3-2. It's popped up in foul territory. As Q going for it. Four, seven, nine. Two, nine. He gets to it. It is a uh, foul out. Caught by Askew. Two away now. An obligatory hitter here. Just because it wouldn't look good if we didn't. And I'm going to send up Greg Goosen. <laughs> Greg Goosen is coming in to hit here. Here's Andrew now. Two outs, nobody on. The pitch to Goosen. 4-8 right-handed struck him out. So Andrew has really settled down here in the later innings. He gets his fourth strikeout. And we're heading to the ninth. Let's see who's coming in now. Let me see if Gelnar is available. Uh, only because rather than use one of these other guys, I really, you know, use one of these. Gelnar. Let's go on to the future. Yeah, we could use Gelnor, no doubt about it, for this meaningless inning here, or what will probably be a meaningless inning. John Gelnor, the right-hander. So Gelnar comes in, and he's taking his warm-ups. It'll be Reichart, Cowan, and Jarvis Tatum for the Angels at 6-1. Um, Tatum, two for four today, single twice and scored twice. So you got to hand it to Jarvis, the youngster here. <sighs> okay, Gilmore is ready. Here's right card to. Lead it off for the Angels. Still trying to think of a question. Here's Gelnor and the pitch to Reichard. That's 312 right handed. He hit him. And uh, he's got a warning now. That is a freaking warning. I, you know, my patience. Okay, that's the third hit by pitch this game. The. Uh, Pilots have now hit two batters in consecutive innings. You do that again, you're out. Here's Cowan now. Really, enough is enough. Cowan was hit by a pitch and scored. Pitch from Gelnar. 3-10 right-handed. And that's a ballpark slash by Cowan. He's a right-handed hitter. One to ten, it is. It goes through for a base hit. And that'll be first and second. You see what that does. Gelnor hitting a batter. And here's Jarvis Tatum now.
Again, two for four. Single twice, score both times. Okay, Tatum, right-handed hitter, Gelnar. First and second, no outs. There's the pitch, 310. And that's going to be a... Uh, struck him out. One down. Oh, it's a great freaking damn game. Yeah. Absolutely. What I'm talking about here, folks, if anybody knows, on an iMac, it feels hot right here. But it cools off. By the time you get over here, it's warm, and then it, it feels actually hot here, right here. But then it cools. Does anyone else have any experience like that? I have no problem with the computer. And I don't know if I'm just buzzed and I've picked up on that, but any feedback would be appreciated. Here's Gelnor now, first and second, one down. Rodriguez is the batter. The pitch to Rodriguez. 6-9 right-handed. Oh, Lord, that is a fly ball to left. And under it is Walton. Two away. Good break there. And here's for Gelnar. Here's Joe Askew now. Computer works fine. It just gets hot. 2-8, right-handed. Grounds it to first, side retired. We're heading to the bottom of the ninth. The pressure's on. For me, I don't know what my question will be. Okay, from what I'm seeing is that people are saying that it's okay. That that's normal. And it will shut down if it's overheated. And it's actually letting heat out. Okay. Oh, you have a trivia. Go for it lower. As Andrew gets set to win this one. Uh, here in the bottom of the ninth in a 6-2 game, a trivia from Lower. Go for it, sir. Now I can pull out all my bells and whistles here, knowing that it's okay to be hot. Right there. Here it is. Which team sported the first starting lineup with all minority players? Great question. I can't name all the players, but all nine. Doc Ellis was the pitcher, Sanguian behind the plate. Uh, and you know, I guess you had Clemente in right, maybe, Stargell in left. Uh, I can't tell you who all of the other players were. <laughs> it was June 15th, what year was it?
think it was 70 or 71 or something like that. have a great question. I have a great freaking question. Starchel, Stennett, I, I knew Stennett. Modlock had to be at third. He was a good ball player. Alexander, I'm not sure who that was. Milner, did they get him from the Mets? Moreno, Parker, and Ellis. And it was 79. It's absolutely awesome, and it's a great question. Lower, I don't know if you like weed. If you do, that's fine. If you don't, we've got some beautiful red jelly beans. But they are all imaginary. I have a question for the end of this ball game. It's a way to sort of try to keep some people here before this game is over. Let me do my quick wrap up and then we'll get to the ball game. Andrew going for the complete game win. He's been shaky at times, but that's a sign of a very good pitcher, able to get out of jams and things like that. He's only allowed two runs in eight innings. You're high on life, baby. All right. Lower is slower. I hope you don't uh, put me down, though. I like weed. Uh, here's Andrew now. <laughs> All right, Kathy Harden, Andrew for the win. Here's the pitch to Harper. That's 3-6 right-handed. Lines it to first caught by Spencer. One down. Andrew really, really, he now 6-8 in a row here at the end. Now John Donaldson. Oh, you're not judging. That's that's cool. I guess I'm just a little defensive. Do you know what I'm saying? Andrew facing Donaldson. One out. That's two seven right-handed, and that is a grounder to third. Stop nicely by Rodriguez, and he throws it to Spencer. Two away now. So Andrew one out away from the win. It will be his 16th of the year on a 2-7 right-handed. And here comes Wayne Comer. Wayne, 0 for 2, walked twice. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. Pilots down 6-2. to two. This is the rubber game. The pitch from Andrew. And that is a 2-8 right-handed. Fly ball center, high and playable. Under it is Cowan. And the ball game is over. Yes, it is. 2-8 right-handed. And boy, Andrew retired the last 10 in order to record the win, the final here, at 6 Stadium. California Angels 6 and the Seattle Pilots 2. There'll be a final question here at the end if I can even remember what it was. I'm going to have to think what it was. I can't. Now I can't <laughs> remember the goddamn question. The final score is California 6, Seattle 2. Andrew gets the win. Again, his 16th. He went nine innings. You're going to see a lot of base runners. One, two, three, four. Well, not so much with the end. He allowed only four hits. He walked for five, hit one, and struck out four, allowed one earned, one unearned. Gelnar came in, pitched one inning, five, six, seven, eight. Um, one hit, no walks, hit one, struck out one. A lot of hit by pitches. Uh, Gelnar, um, California, six runs. 11, 12 hits and two errors. Seattle, two runs, four hits. That's really something. He he did walk five. He allowed only four hits in this ball game. There was that error that uh, contributed to the first run. It was unearned, the, uh, the two-base error. 
uh, by Reichardt, and I want you to get ready for this final uh, question from me. Um, but I, you know, you don't have to stay. Uh, I just want to get myself ready to ask it. Um, this has been a production of the Stratomatic Sports Network. I'm Jeffrey Guterman, uh, and I hope you have enjoyed this ball game. I really do. Now, I'm going to try my darndest. Yeah, you got, got to give me a second, though. You got to give me a minute here to collect myself because I don't even remember it. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting yet. <laughs> now, oh, lower, slower, please. Go easy on me. Give me a second here. I'm going to try to think of what it was. Okay? I can't believe how irresponsible of me. <laughs> Give me a second here. <laughs> He's funny. That is some funny, funny, funny shit. start thinking of an alternative question since I can't pull this one up out of my memory. We're going to give lower and slower credit 
We're going to give lower and slower credit for the, for Hornsby. I think it was three fifty eight. Uh, but I want to. I, I don't want to blow your minds any more than I have to tonight. There is a even more accurate answer. No Wagner. No. No Wagner is. Uh, Wagner, his lifetime, he's he's 41st, believe it or not, which is surprising to me. I'm going to give you all the answer. No, here it is, folks. Oscar Charleston. Oscar Charleston, he played in the Negro Leagues, and some of you may have heard, I, I first heard this about two years, Major League Baseball is in the process of Uh, in the process of uh, painstakingly reviewing the records from the Negro Leagues and uh, incorporating them, adding them to Major League Baseball records. Uh, it was a great question and an awesome game, and you were awesome with us slower and slower. His name is Oscar Charleston. And... Uh, it's sort of a, a trick question, but we need to be mindful that they have been incorporated. Cobb is first, then Charleston, then Hornsby at 358, and then Shoeless Joe at 355. Judd Wilson, another Negro player, Negro League player, Judd Wilson is fifth with 351 average. Judd Wilson, so a lot of these Negro players from the Negro Leagues are being incorporated. Uh, look at Williams 344, that's obscene. Babe Ruth 342, okay. Uh, Freaking obscene with his power. Um, Lou Gehrig 340, I mean, unbelievable. Tony Gwynn 338, probably the greatest uh, Oh, I'm glad to see these players from the Negro Leagues are being incorporated. Probably the highest of any modern, when I say modern, I mean really modern, uh, Tony Gwynn who died. Uh, Mr. Padre, uh, 338 lifetime playing in the, uh, I guess it was the 80s and the 90s, was it? Uh, yeah, 80s and 90s. So I want to say to everybody, stay strong. Uh, stay well. Ted Williams has a great lifetime average. Uh, and I will catch you all next time, okay? Thank you so much for your patience tonight. This was a little different tonight, uh, but I enjoyed it. And I hope you did too. Have a good one, everybody.